My name is Jason Nicolau, and I am an engagement manager here at Sickage. Today's modern ERP is designed to empower users to leverage information in new ways, to streamline processes and drive efficiency. With great power comes great responsibility. So companies need a way to insert gateways for certain activities. Microsoft Dynamics 365 Business Central incorporates approval workflows to meet this need. Approvals are leveraged in many areas of BC. You control which processes are impacted, the dollar amount, and the approver chain. Let's jump into the solution and take a look. This is where you are setting up the general rules, like how much each user is authorized to approve and who can approve for whom. This is where I control when notifications are sent and how. Since I have the approvers set up, I need to design my workflows. These are the sets of rules and next steps included in my workflows. Microsoft has built flexibility into this tool because it is used by such a wide range of companies. Let's say that I don't require an approval process for anything under $2,000. And for anything under $10,000, I want it to follow the approver chain that I just built. Now I need to tell BC the next step. This can be a due date or who is going to receive the notification. Here I am letting the chain do the work. This means that as the value increases, multiple approvals would be required as approvers limits are reached. If that causes too much clutter, then BC can skip right to the person who is authorized to approve that amount with first qualified approver. So this rule says that when a sales order is created for over $2,000, use the approver chain, and when the pending approvals equal zero, then release the document. Do you have situations where there's a group of approvers that can authorize something? Let's say anyone who is a manager can approve a PO over $10,000. Now the document can be released if there is only one pending approval open. This is because I have two users at the same level in this arrangement. This creates a hierarchy as well. So now that we have seen the setup, let's change our perspective and take a look on my phone. My mobile experience unlocks the full power of BC in a smaller bit of real estate. Being on the go no longer means tying up business back at the office. This app is 100% free and is available for both Android and Apple devices. My first screen shows me the list of open approvals. The first layer of information may be okay for an order just barely beyond the approval threshold. If I need more details, I still don't need to get my tablet or laptop out. Here are all of the details that I need to make my decision and allow my team to continue to process this order. Now I have more options, including delegating this approval. We will go much farther with this conversation during implementation. My goal is to show you the capabilities and some core functionalities in this area. Thank you for joining me today. If the presented tools don't quite fit your needs, then you may need Microsoft Flow. This product is designed to maneuver across solutions. Instead of working just inside of BC, users first identify what solution say Microsoft's CRM tool called customer engagement, then provide instructions as to what should happen inside of that particular solution. For example, the approval may live in BC, but the flow tool may automatically assign a follow-up task to the customer service agent who took the order and track the activity after that. This creates an ecosystem created by digital transformation. Are you ready to begin your journey? You can contact us directly or visit sickage.com to get started.